Ukrainian billionaire Ihor Kolomoisky appeared in court on Sunday amid a crackdown on corruption in the country. Under allegations of fraud and money laundering, a judge ordered his detention for 60 days. Kolomoisky was once an ally of President Vladimir Zelensky, and the Ukrainian president thanked law enforcement agencies for serving justice. Of course, we will protect Ukraine and return freedom to our entire land. And each of us feels that this will be a Ukraine of different rules. The law must work. It does. It will continue to do so. Russia is expanding its efforts to increase military personnel to its goal of 1.5 million. According to the Ministry of Defense, since January the 1st, about 280,000 people have been accepted into the ranks of the armed forces, partly those who were in reserve, partly volunteers. It's a big week ahead for Russia and President Putin, who is due to meet Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Monday. Turkey is pushing hard for the resumption of the Black Sea grain deal, and all eyes will be on Erdogan to see what he can achieve. Priyanka Navani, TRT World.